Hi everybody, this is Chris, and today I have the pleasure of sharing with you some of the work that our teachers have done in Canvas to help uh, students stay organized and keep um, abreast of what's going on in their class. So what they've done and what you'll see is uh, different ways that they've used Google Slides to um, visually present uh, the information, daily agendas, reminders, and things like that inside their Canvas homepage and um, the difference that's made in terms of um, helping students stay on track. So I'm gonna show you some examples from different teachers, um, biology teachers in this case, and then I will um, kind of go into a little bit more of how to and show you how to uh, take what you see and modify it or to create something on your own from scratch. So let's dive into Canvas and take a closer look. So the samples that we're gonna be looking at are found in our Canvas Distance Learning PD course, which hopefully is on your dashboard. Um, so you can click right there, but if not, you can go to the help menu and then just click right underneath the Panda for HBUHSD Distance Learning. That will open up um, our Distance Learning PD course. And then from there, what we're gonna do to see the samples is go to modules. And underneath our instructional design unit, there's a whole module with different sample home pages in it. And I've reorganized this to, to indicate here's um, the samples where the agenda is embedded. Here's the samples where the agenda is linked. And this is um, something a little different. So we'll be looking at um, these different samples. So I'm going to click on Welcome to Biology. And what we'll see here is um, a Google slide agenda created by um, Mrs. Perez at uh, Marina High School who teaches biology. And you can tell that um, her biology class um, that she has, they there's a group of students that meet October Thursday, October 8th, um, odd, and then even on Friday the 9th. So this one slide is the agenda for both of those classes because they're off a day due to the block schedule. But um, she has some things for prepare for class, uh, today's goal, uh, the agenda right here of what they're gonna do in class, and then um, some homework. And then notice at the bottom, there's a little notation, um, asterisk combination of synchronous and asynchronous activities because some of this will happen where everybody's doing it at once and some of it will happen where um, students are working at their own pace and doing it at different times. So um, what she will typically do is just make a one of these per day or per class session, um, which it, if it's aside from Mondays, it'll it'll be like Thursday, Friday or tu Tuesday, Wednesday. And then she puts the newest slide on top. And if a student ever wants to go back and, and look at a previous day, um, they can use the forward and backward arrows here um, or just go right to any slide. And you can name the slides by week number or however you'd like. Um, so, and then you could, you could have other things underneath this if you want um, or not. So let's look at our next example. Our next example comes from Edison High School, um, Ms. Kelly Porter. And you can see that um, she has a little graphic here. Um, she has a link to her syllabus, course expectations, modules, and then lab safety. Um, her online meeting links are right here. And then right here is um, similar to what you just saw, uh, where this is a um, Google slide that is embedded and it has, um, in this case, um, the agenda for the whole week uh, and the days are labeled. So in, in her case, um, it looks like her biology course that she teaches, she doesn't have any sections that meet Wednesday, Friday. So she just has Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Uh, she has uh, basically the agenda, what they're doing, uh, and you can see uh, if you click on that, that would take you right to it. So she's linked, um, hyperlinked to those things in Canvas. And it's the same kind of concept here. If you were to um, click next, you, you would, or back, you can go forward or backward 
and um, she puts the newest week, the most current week, uh, as the first slide in the deck. So that comes up when you reload the page. Um, let's take a look, uh, look at one more of these. Um, okay, this biology homepage is from uh, Sarah Hatfield at Huntington Beach High School. And um, you can tell that she's using um, design tools. She's made uh, a homepage with some tabs. So you can click on class agenda, which is the default. And you can click on course info here. And that's a Google slide that's embedded with some links there, some important links. And then she has um, all her unit notes so that the students can access those. But let's go back to the um, classroom and agenda. So this is her Bitmoji classroom here which is a Google slide embedded. And then right underneath that, uh, very similar to what you just saw, is um, an agenda slide for the week. So uh, in this case, she has um, sections of biology that meet um, every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is, is the same lesson plan or same agenda, and Thursday, Friday, um, the same thing. And again, you can see that she's linked to different things in Canvas, or in this case, CK12 so the students can go right to it. Um, one other thing that she does is um, that's uh, kind of nice is if the students were absent, she has specific notes for what they need to do if they're absent, uh, some reminders, and then um, her online meeting links right here. Um, so now we just will look at a different style of doing this. And this is um, the sample biology homepage that I made. And here it's just very simple. It's a graphic, it's um, maybe a quote of the week, some links to some key resources. But the very first key resource right here is our daily class agendas. So um, clicking on that brings up uh, your agenda that you saw. Uh, and this is just basically a shared slide deck with all the different samples that I just showed you. So um, that's another way that you can do it. Okay, and another example um, would be right here if you're uh, an advanced user and you like the, um, the floating tiles that rearrange based on the width of the screen, um, you can make one of these tiles um, your agenda. And if you click on that, that'll do exactly what I just showed you. So there's, um, several different examples of how you can do this. So now what we're going to do is go to Canvas Commons so we can get a copy of these templates in any of our courses that we wish to use them in. So over here on the global navigation menu next to help, you're going to click on Canvas Commons. And as soon as you get in there, you should see um, the featured item sample home pages by Chris Long. If not, just search for it right there. But we'll click on that. And uh, when it loads, you should see like a preview of it. You can click on any of these slides. Uh, and then what we're going to do is um, we're going to um, import and download it into our course. So we're going to click this import. And we got to be really careful here because we don't want to, you know, certainly not probably something you want in all of your courses. So be careful to select just the courses you want it in. And in this example, I'm just gonna use this course I called Delete that I um, will import it into. Scroll down, click Import into Course, and then uh, basically it's gonna start uh, the import. And so I can go over to that course and uh, in a couple minutes, if it's not already there, I can go and click on the modules and boom, yeah, it's there. So um, now let's say that um, I want to take this one right here. This is the home page that I uh, want to modify and use as my own. Um, so what I'm going to do uh, or what I would like to do is I would like to take this slide right here, um, a variation of it and make that my own and then maybe change some, some of the things down here a little bit. So uh, what we'll need to do is we'll need to get a copy of these uh, slides or this slide for um, ourselves. Uh, and to do that, we're just going to go to your Google Drive. Uh, and then inside your Google Drive, you should over here on the left see shared drives. 
and then you should have access to something called EdTech Help Guides. If you click into that, you should see all kinds of goodies. Uh, but the one that uh, we're looking for today is uh, the agenda templates. So I can double click on that. And then right here is uh, our agenda tip. So what you're gonna do here is um, go file and uh, we're going to um, make a copy of the entire presentation. And I'll just call it copy of uh, agenda samples. Once the copy is made, you now have it. Um, so you can rename it, you can call it whatever you wanna call it. Um, so I'm gonna call that my agenda samples and um, I want to uh, change this to my name right here, Mr. Long. And um, I might wanna change some other things in here. But once I get something that I like, I can delete these other ones um, and then I can just duplicate and just change the information from one day to the next. And you want to work so that the most recent thing is always on the top. And that way, when the page is reloaded, it will um, show the most recent information in Canvas. So um, you'll work on this for a little bit. And then um, what you'll do is um, you'll go over here to the file menu. And then I want to click publish to the web and I want to click Publish. Uh, click the OK button up here, and then I'm going to go and click on the Embed right here, and I'm going to take all of this code right here, highlight it, and then copy it. Then I'm going to go over to the Canvas page that uh, is now in my course, and I want to change this so that it's um, my slides and not Mrs. Perez's. So I'm going to click Edit here, I'm going to click on the HTML editor. I'm going to go to the very top because that's where that slide was. And then right here where you see the iframe, I want to delete all of that iframe from that iframe to that one in the greater than sign after it. So I'm going to delete that. If you want, you can hit a return in here and then go up to the empty space and then paste um, what we just copied. Click Save. And then boom, uh, there we have it. So now that is my slide deck. Every time I reload the page, it'll, it'll be refreshed with whatever is in the Google slide deck. So as soon as I change that Google slide deck, it will be displayed here. You can go to the different slides um, as I showed you. And then um, if you want to edit any of the other things on this page, you can just click edit. Um, you can change any of the text, add images, whatever you like. Um, so then uh, you would click save when you're happy with that. Um, we would want to go to um, pages right here. And then if you did want to use this as a, as a home page, it's this one. Um, I would, uh, oh, it's actually this one. I can see I edited it. Um, I would click on the three dots here. I would say use this front page. Uh, I go over to home. And then instead of the modules view uh, for my from my home page, I would um, change my home page or choose my home page right here. And I would just say pages front page. And I've already selected welcome to biology, hit save. And uh, there it is. So that's uh, one way to do it through um, Canvas Commons. Um, <clears throat> another thing that you can do uh, is you could um, just make a new page. So um, you can view pages here. Let's say I create a new page, new page, and I want to um, embed my own slide template in there. So let's say I call this um, maybe um, some text I have up here. And then underneath that, I want to put in my uh, Google slide template. So uh, one way, you, another way you can do this is you can just click on the more external tools link right here, that little carrot that's pointed down. Um, click on Google Drive LTI 1.3. 
That's our newest Google integration. If it asks you, make sure you're signed into your school account. Uh, looks like I am. I'm going to select my file. And then what it's doing right here is um, it's showing me my Google Drive. And I know it's that file because I was just working on it. So I'm going to click that file, click add. Uh, I'm going to allow it to attach. Uh, and then boom, it's in there. Now the one problem uh, with doing it, this is a pretty easy way to do it. If it avoids you having to go into the code and copy and paste. But the one problem is um, you notice there's black bars on the top and the bottom. So I would suggest you click on the HTML editor and change the um, 750 to 960. And we're going to change the height to 749. And now I'll size it just right for that um, Google slide deck. So we'll hit um, save. Take a look at how that looks. Yay. And there you see it. So you have the text and then um, so on. And again, you would you would need to go over here. If you want the new page to be your home page, you would have to go over here and then um, make sure that, oh, we got to publish it. And then once it's published, you can choose use this front page. So if I want that to be the front page, um, it would be the front page. And then um, one other thing that you can do, let's say um, you wanted to just have a link, uh, you can do that as well. So you don't want to embed the whole the whole slide deck. So I'm going to um, select everything in here. I'm going to hit delete. And then you can simply in your own home page, you can just say um, something like daily agenda. You don't have to do it in all caps, but you can. Um, and then right here, you would just highlight that and then use the link tool. Uh, and then what I would suggest you do on, on that would be, um, you wouldn't use that link. Um, you would just go to uh, your share settings. Make sure that this is shared so anyone with link can, can view it. Copy that link. And then you'll come back over here. Um, use the link tool, uh, paste that link in there. Um, one nice thing that you could do instead of the edit after here, you can put preview, spell out preview, oops, but not in all caps, but preview. Uh, and that will make it like open up um, in a nice full size window instead of in Google Slides. Uh, and so you can do it that way as well, hit save. Uh, and you're good to go. Well, I know that was a lot of information to go over. Uh, should you need any further assistance or get stuck uh, somewhere in the process, please sign up for an online uh, learning appointment. You can do this by going to the URL on the screen, which is uh, bit.ly forward slash hb dash ola, and that will bring you to a Google Sheet. On the bottom of the sheet, you'll see different dates that are uh, available. And uh, you simply pick a date and then uh, in the topic, you can write in um, agenda help or Canvas homepage design and then just simply put your name um, in space one for learner one here. And we could have up to four people per appointment. If uh, none of these dates work out for you, just reach out to me via email and we'll set something else up. Uh, thank you and have a good day.